Hey everyone, it's Take It All on Thursdays. This is for October 24th, 2013. And this week I wanna talk about fear. I have to work an overnight at, at the where I work at the station and I hate them. And this kind of ties into the whole fear thing because it's super creepy there. I'm all by myself. It's really creepy, like haunted house creepy. Like you hear random noises, no one's in the building, like doors open, it sounds like someone's walking. It's really fucking creepy. Coworker slash boyfriend was like, hey, I'll do your overnight. And I was like, no. Just gotta man up, just gotta face my fear. We have fears. Whether or not you choose to face them or you just avoid them all together, avoid that thing that scares the crap out of you. If you face your fears and you get over it and you, over you overcome that fear, I guess that makes you a stronger person, right? But if you avoid it, I guess there's a reason why people, you know, have certain fears because people wanna keep living, right? That whole fight or flight thing happens to a person. This whole fear thing kinda ties into this article that I found online. It deals with Japan and their younger, you know, younger aged people, like their 20 somethings. And they're finding that less and less, you know, the, of those people, that, that kind of that generation is pretty much avoiding sex and avoiding relationships. And the population, I guess, there is like decreasing by decade by decade. And some of the things I read in there was people don't want the complicated, you know, the complicatedness that comes with relationships. It's too messy, you know, you know, what do you really get out of it? Some of the guys were saying, and some of the women were saying, well, I'm too focused on my career. So in this day and age, the, the economy, like to make a family, you really do need two working adults. Um, there's no way of getting around that unless you have one adult that's really making some money, but I'm talking like the middle class um, all around has to, usually has to have two incomes coming in and a lot of that ties into the women working, right? So more women are working and they're more focused on their career and they don't really want to have children. So there's this whole article that I read. It's kind of like this whole fear thing where it's like, oh my God, if everyone stops having sex and everyone stops having kids, oh my goodness, it's going to be the end of life as we know it. Which I find this is really funny because just a few years ago or a few months ago, it was that whole population increase, you know, everyone's living longer, everyone's doing this, but a lot of people are having less babies. One fear was like, oh my God, there's too many people on the damn earth and resources are just, but now the fear is, oh my goodness, well, if we don't have kids, then <laughs> what happens if, if everyone stops having kids, right? In China, they have this, um, it's mandated that you can only have one kid. And what they're finding is that now you have these, you know, single, chill, only children, to have to take care of two parents when they get older and then four grandparents and all the stress would be on that one child. So outside of, you know, the world, my little world information, um, fear comes in all packages, right? People have phobias, people are scared of bugs, people are scared of animals, scared of the dark. Um, I recently made fun of my sister for being scared of the dark. <laughs> um, I think that was when I was home last, but everyone has their thing. I don't like being in the dark all the time, so I guess I kind of share that fear. I don't like thunder. I'm scared of thunder. I, I act like a five-year-old when it comes to thunder. It's ridiculous. Some people have fear of commitment. Um, some people have, you know, fear of relationships and all that and showing who they really are. So a lot of the time, Fears can easily be, you know, overcome. And I feel like that holds back a lot of people. So, me recently, um, I know I've talked about this whole DGA thing. And I looked on the website and the one DGA program is due to be, you know, applications due in like two weeks, November 1st. Less than, less than two weeks, right? So, I got all the way up to this like the third round fourth round or something like that and then I just they didn't they didn't accept me to the last round so that was kind of it was a hard blow for me and now something's happening I don't I just don't want to throw myself out there as much so I have that fear that's kind of controlling me which really kind of I don't like it I don't like how it's kind it's just holding me back a little bit but the thing is, is if I overcome this fear and I do the application, I have to deal with rejection. So right now I have fear of rejection, which everyone has that. You know, the number one fear out there is public speaking. I wish that was my problem. I don't have a problem with public speaking, obviously, because I have this YouTube thing happening. I don't know what to do. I have no idea. I could try and write this out, but if I don't feel it, then I can't force myself to write these things because the application process involves essay writing and I don't know if my heart's gonna be in it. I have no idea if I wanna be in film anymore. I don't know, you know, photo, that whole thing with the photo, my photo gallery um, show, 
like it turned out really well like a lot of we sold about five pieces out of like I have no idea there were a lot of artists 25 artists there were a lot of pieces and five were sold which that's average so I'm learning a lot in this field and I didn't sell anything personally which I feel like a complete failure right but now I'm just like oh I have so much work to do to get into all these shows and to try and just sell one or two pieces it's not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Like, oh, my shit's great. I'm just gonna go into a gallery and then people are gonna buy my stuff. I have fear of moving forward. I just don't know. I have a lot of things holding me back right now and I don't like it. So fear is, it's definitely a big control factor for a lot of people. So if you have fear, do whatever you can to try and overcome it. Face your fears. And when you face your fears, I think something happens to you. You really feel good about yourself. You're like, wow, I really did it. I overcame it. I was positive about it. It was great. So, I mean, not all the time it's going to work. Because sometimes people have panic attacks and heart attacks and everything. But if you really can find it in you to face your fear, then kudos. And that's really great. So I guess my challenge to everybody is face your fears this week. Um, and I'm going to try and face mine, obviously. I'm going to try and do what I can to kind of combat whatever whatever is happening to me whatever's holding me back so that's how you're on thursdays and that's fear so hopefully i'll be back next week i have no idea because next week's halloween i have to work 3 to 11 and it sucks but um if i don't see everybody i hope everyone's having a great october and i hope everyone has a ha um, great halloween so that's it for now and i'll see you guys next week or the next week after i have no idea